All right, gym owners, in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the five pillars of acquisition that we use here at Gym Launch and what we have seen to help gym owners be able to get more leads and convert more leads into sales. Now, for most gyms, they typically have one or two different ways that they acquire clients, whether it's through word of mouth and then organic traffic on their website, maybe it's organic traffic on social media where they use paid advertising, but very few actually use five points of entry to acquire new leads and new sales. The old way of doing things would be only having one to two ways to be able to acquire clients, but in today's world, we have to be able to have multiple ways to bring in new leads and new members. And what we are seeing on our side is when gym owners even use just three of these pillars, they are tripling the front end cash that they collect and they're decreasing their blended cost per lead by anywhere between 25 to 50%, which means they're, they're almost cutting their cost per lead in half just by implementing really just three of these pillars of acquisition. But when you use all five, all of a sudden you have a way to where you can collect leads from a bunch of different places and have them consistently coming in, which the ultimate goal that we're looking for as a gym is to get a consistent flow of leads, a consistent flow of shows, and consistently close people into new members. So I'm gonna walk you through these five pillars of acquisition real fast. We're gonna work through them and I'm gonna give you a couple different examples as we go through. All right, pillar number one is paid ads. The reason why this is pillar number one is because it's the easiest way to get a ton of eyeballs for a really low price. We perfected how to run paid ads for gyms in a local market on Meta, and it is absolutely smashing, and it is still the best way. And even though cost per lead can creep up over time, as all platforms do, it is still the least expensive platform to be on and the one that provides the most consistent amount of leads consistent amount of shows which convert into closes. And so paid ads is really important, but there's a part of this pillar of acquisition that's really important. When you're running paid ads, the offer matters more than almost anything else. And so when we think about paid ads, the offer that we want to attach to paid ads is what we call a liquidation offer. And the liquidation offer is just simply a high ticket transformation offer that you're using in your paid ads, which allows you to get number one, a ton of leads because it has a ton of interest and it's a grand slam type offer. But the big thing is, is when people come in, it's more of a mid to high ticket price, which allows you to liquidate or cover your ad spend so that you are profitable day one. And so the first pillar is running paid ads with what we call a liquidation offer. An example of this would be something like a six week transformation, a 12 week transformation, an eight week transformation, a four week transformation. And there's lots of different variations and titles that you can use for these, but a short term defined program is the best way to offer something in paid ads. If you go into it thinking, I'm just going to run a free trial. I'm going to do a free seven day pass. Those aren't sexy. We've spent millions of dollars testing over a hundred different offers and trials almost never work. And so having a defined in program with a clear call to action with clear benefits for the person person when they sign up by far way better than anything else. Now, the second pillar of acquisition is really, really important because a lot of times when you're running paid advertising, you're going to get a ton of people and a ton of eyeballs that are going to see this, but there's going to be a lot of people that opt in and schedule, and that's great. But there's also going to be a ton of people that see this and have interest in your business, your gym, and they want to learn more. And this offer just really doesn't appeal to them. And so where do they typically go? Well, they typically go to your website. So the next one is going to be your website. Now you might be thinking, Kale, that's not really a pillar of acquisition. Wouldn't that fall under organic or true inbound marketing? And you wouldn't be wrong with that. However, when we look at gyms and we think of different ways to be able to grab leads from, a website is one of the most important ones because with paid ads, people are going to either opt in, but most people will want to check out and see if you are a real gym, an actual legitimate business, and they wanna learn more about you. And if they didn't say yes to this offer, why would we on our website have the exact same offer? Wouldn't we wanna switch it up so that we can grab more people into the top of the funnel so that we can have more opportunities to sell them? And the best part about all of this, by the way, is that all of these roads lead into the exact same sales process. So you can sell high ticket to anyone regardless of what pillar or road that they came in from. So on this one with our website, we call this our catch-all offer. And with a catch-all offer, this one is gonna be something that is a low barrier to entry, something like a free class trial, a free class pass, a seven-day free trial. This is something that is going to be super easy for someone to want to opt in and get their information. Because again, all of these different things that we're running through are all gonna lead into the same sales process. Just because someone came in on a catch-all offer, which might be a free class, or they came in through the liquidation offer, which might be a transformation program, we are still 
still going to have the same offers presented to them during the sales appointment. And that's, we could talk about that on another video, but this, the same thing happens no matter what, which makes your sales process scalable because now you don't have to worry about, well, how did someone come in? What offer are they looking at? Because the real deal is that people don't even remember the offer that they opted in on. They really don't. And when you sit down, you want to have more of a, a therapeutic consultative sale approach and find out what are their goals, what's their pain points, what are they really looking to try to achieve. And your goal then is to be able to upsell them into a program that fits their goals and their needs. And that way you can have people that buy a high ticket program. You can also have a bunch of people that just start right into your reoccurring memberships, but it gives you the opportunity to actually ask and collect those higher ticket prices. Now, the third one's really important because with paid ads and websites, what we see with a lot of gyms is once they start implementing both of these and they have a really good website set up to be able to collect more leads coming in, their blended lead costs drops dramatically from here. But there's an aspect of this which is really important for gyms. When you start running these, you start to collect a bunch of leads and you start to have this long list of leads that either didn't schedule or maybe they scheduled but didn't show or maybe they showed up and said no at that time. So what are you gonna do with those leads? Well, we don't want them to just die. We want to be able to re-engage them, reactivate them and bring them in. And so this is where we have the next pillar which is reactivation. With reactivation, our goal here is to use an SMS and an email drip campaign. A lot of problems that happen with reactivation campaigns that I see a lot in the industry, and this isn't just in the gym industry, this is across the board, is people just like to send a massive broadcast to everyone and blow up their entire list. A better way to do it is to just simply do a drip campaign over time where you're hitting your leads and you're making a completely different offer than what you've made with your paid ads and your website. Because at this point, they would have already most likely seen your liquidation offer and most likely seen your catch-all offer. So why would we want to have the same thing? It's better to have a brand new offer that then could pique their interest or re-engage them to bring them back in. And so what we do is we call this the cleanup offer. And this cleanup offer is another low barrier to entry. It could be a free transformation. It could be a free 14 day trial. It could be anything, a scholarship play. It could be lots of different offers, but it needs to be different than what you've had over here because these people again have come in through one of these roads. Now we wanna give them something else to re-engage them and pique their interest because there's a reason they didn't show up. Now it could be for a lot of different things. Maybe they just got sidetracked. Maybe they just forgot that they had a scheduled appointment. Maybe you didn't work them. Could be a lot of different reasons, but we want to be able to pique their interest again and give them an irresistible reason to come in, see you, and then be able to close and join your facility. What we found is that people will get paid ads and they start getting tons of leads, right? Our average client does over 200 leads a month and they're only spending anywhere between $1,500 to $2,500 a month. On their website, they're going to get another 25% bump in leads just from running paid ads. And so now their blended lead cost drops. And then what we do is we start running reactivation almost immediately after about a couple weeks of leads coming in. And then we do a drip campaign where we're hitting a hundred leads on one specific day. And then we hit another hundred leads the next day and then another hundred leads the next day. And so what we do is we slowly drip this out. So it's a choreographed process. And so that you're not just blasting all of your leads at one time, which can be a big problem because if it does work and you have a great offer, you end up losing space on your calendar to sell. Because at this point, you're probably using still paid ads. You probably have leads coming in through the website. And if you do this and you do have a great offer, you're going to run out of sales appointments. And so this is a much better way to just drip this out. So you're consistently getting leads from paid ads, website, and now a reactivation cleanup offer. And what we've seen with this is a massive bump in front-end cash collected to CAC, which is the cost to acquire a client. In fact, one of our clients went from two to one with just paid ads to four to one once he added the website in to six to one once he added the reactivation in. And so these have huge ramifications if you're using all three of them the right way, right? Having a liquidation offer here, a transformation offer, having a catch-all offer, a low barrier thing, and then having another low barrier cleanup offer here. Just these three right here can completely change an entire business. But then there's two more. And the fourth one is organic. This one a lot of times people get a little bit confused with with just posting. And it's not just about posting. We actually have to have a call to action and a reason for what we're doing. And so what we have is organic and the offer is slightly different. And when we say organic, we do mean social platforms. So Meta, so Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, any other platforms that you're on, this is what we mean by organic. And people can sometimes be like, well, is it website organic? Sure, but a lot of that's gonna come from paid ads. With your organic, the type of offer that we wanna do here is going to be some sort of transformation giveaway. And we call this our scholarship play. 
And shout out to Jason Phillips at NCI. We actually got this from him. The absolute crushes. And we moved it into brick and mortar facilities because he was using it with online trainers. And this thing absolutely smashes. What this is, is you're going to do a giveaway roughly every 90 days because you don't want to do it constantly. But every 90 days, you're going to do a what we call a scholarship giveaway where you're giving away a high ticket transformation package, usually anywhere between 12 weeks to a year long. You want it to be anywhere between $5,000 to $10,000 worth of value. And what you're gonna do is you're basically gonna be posting from Thursday all the way through Sunday. And you're gonna drop posts and people are gonna opt in and they're going to opt in for the chance to win the scholarship play. And you're only posting for like four days, that's it. You announce the winner on Sunday. So you start it on Thursday, announce the winner on Sunday, it's really close. And then from there, all you do is you reach out to every single person who you didn't pick to win. So all the, all the people, every single entry, and all that happens there is that they all won second place. So now what they do is they get a percentage off of that scholarship play. And all you do is you just set them for an appointment to come in, redeem their percentage off, their discount. And then what you can do is you can sell them into that scholarship play or you can just go through the same sales process and sell them into a membership. But what this does is every 90 days, you're doing this four times a year, it gives you the opportunity to collect more leads more members and more sales without spending a dime on ads. And the best part about all of this is if you're doing all of these correctly with paid ads, websites, reactivation, and now adding in a scholarship play on the organic side, you're now getting leads consistently into your business and these paid ads will help all of these lift up because you'll have more eyeballs and more people seeing it, which means you'll have more people going to the website, more leads that you can reactivate, more people will see your organic work and your posting. There's that quote, right? Rising tides raises all ships. Paid ads can be the engine for this, the tide that raises all of these up. That's why we always start with paid ads. Now, pillar number five is what most gyms want. They want word of mouth, they want referrals. And that is number five, referrals. And with referrals, the most important part about collecting more referrals is creating a culture within your gym that you expect people to provide referrals. Now, the prerequisite for this is that you have to give people incredible results, you have to have an incredible client experience, and you have to wow your clients. And if you don't do that, if your product sucks, then it's gonna be really hard to get referrals. And a good way to look at the health of your business is how many referrals are you getting? And if you're getting a ton of referrals, that's amazing. Start adding these in and you'll get even more referrals and you'll grow even faster because if you do get a ton of referrals, that means your product, your service is exceptional. So let's just put some gas behind it and let's blow this thing up even more because you already have a great product. But for those of you that are struggling to get referrals, it's a good idea to go back and look at how are my clients getting results? Are they actually getting results? What's their client experience? What's the feedback that I'm getting? And if it's not great, then you should look to improve this before you even start asking for referrals. But one of the best ways to be able to consistently get referrals is every single week, do what we call Fast Cash Fridays. Learn this from Mike Ferreira, our GM here at Gym Launch. He does this at his facility, been doing it for a while. All it is is his team would go on every Friday and they'd go live in their gym Facebook group and they would be giving away cash live and calling out the people that referred someone that week. And they'd be basically having the cash on the video it doesn't have to be a big production. In fact, a lot of the times the videos don't even look that great and they're not very well scripted, but they're authentic. And it's his team members that are saying thank you to the members that actually referred them, holding up cash, and it's keeping it top of mind. And so when they do this, the really important part when we think about referrals is it has to be a win-win offer for them. What I mean by a win-win offer is that the people that refer new members to you, you should be rewarding them. And you should be rewarding them in cash, not credits. If you credit back to their membership, they never feel it. You want them to feel it. You want them to see immediately the fruits of their labor and the reward that they get. So one of the best ways to do it is every single week, do a Fast Cash Friday, go live in the group, and make sure that you hand them cash in a class session. So in the session, actually hand it to them, make it a big deal, and make it almost like a party, like a celebration. Because what you want that person to do is feel increased status within the community, they wanna feel recognized, and they're receiving cash reward. And the thing here that's really big is that if someone refers, try to reward them as soon as you possibly can. Now, obviously the referral has to sign up in order for the person to get that cash reward, but when they do, reward them as quickly as possible. But what about the other win? How do we make this a win-win? Well, for referrals, a really good way to do this is to give them, the person you referred, a cash reward. Something like anywhere between 50 to $100. Now, how much you give 
is determined by how much it costs you to acquire a new client. If it costs me $500 to acquire a new client, that's a lot inside of a gym, then I would be willing to pay up to $500 for someone to refer to me. Now, if it costs me $250, I'd be willing to spend up to $250. And this is why it's really important to understand your stats and your metrics, because that will drive your reward systems and your incentives for your members. But the way to make it a win-win is to not only reward the person who referred, but also give a discount to the person they referred to. So now, not only will the person who referred get cash, but they also will get status with the person that they referred by telling them they can get an exclusive discount when they sign up just because they referred them. And so by doing this, it creates a win-win. Let's say your CAC is $250 and you're willing to spend up to $250 to acquire a new client. You could give $150 to the person who referred and then a $100 sign up discount or credit it to a membership for the person that signs up that was referred. And so now not only is this person winning, but this person's winning as well. And that's what I mean by a win-win. And when you are using all five of these, all of a sudden you never have to worry about running out of leads because let's say meta goes down for some crazy reason, right? Your Facebook account gets hacked and it all shuts down. This has happened lots of different times. Well, you've already got website, you've got reactivation, you can hit all those leads that you already have. You've got organic, which you could be running a scholarship play. And you can even pump these numbers up by doing story posts every single week with a call to action to get more leads coming in. And then you obviously have referrals and you've created a culture with a win-win offer so that not only is the person who's referring getting a reward, but the person that got referred will also have a discount when they sign up. And using all of these allows you to have a bulletproof acquisition system. And that is why we teach the five pillars of acquisition for our gyms and we help install this inside of their facility. And so if you like this type of information and it interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you want help installing these systems inside of your gym the right way, go ahead, there's a link down below. You can book a call with our team, find out more, and I'll see you on the other side.